These are the instructions on how to start this 1918 Kissel Model 638. side open the driver's side door we'll have a towel probably on the floor or in the car that you can use to keep everything nice move the towel out of the way take out your floor panel here Here's the master battery disconnect switch screw down the green knob it's connected unscrew it part way it's disconnected always leave this car disconnected when it's not being used back and swirl your towel down on the floor, spread it out. That's your first step, because if you don't keep that off, you always have the possibility of leaving this ignition in the wrong place and destroying a coil. So we'll close the door now and go around to the passenger side. Throw the towel on the running board. There are no step plates on 18 Kissels. We'll open the passenger side door. This is a staggered door car. It's exactly the way the factory built it. The problem is, People back in the early 1900s were small, so I tend to like to go into the back door with another towel on the floor, close the door, and step between the seats to get in the driver's position. I can get in the driver's door, but it's awful tight. Down here on the bottom of the floor, you have a clutch in the normal position, you have a brake in the normal position. This little mushroom style unit is your foot throttle. This is your starter right up here. That's your starter switch. This is your gear shift. This is your handbrake. This is an all mechanical brake system. In order to stop this car if it's moving, you really want to use both the foot brake and the handbrake. I've currently got the handbrake set because the car is sitting still, so that's effectively the parking brake. But you use both those brakes if you want to stop this car well because it has rear wheel outside contracting brakes only, just as it was built with. On your instrument panel, this is your choke right here. The choke should be out for starting, but don't leave it out more than five or six seconds of cranking. You'll have too much choking. I've already started the car, so I'm going to start with the choke off. This is your valve we put in for the fuel. It has an LB1 carburetor on it that is correct. That carburetor though will continue to drain gas on the ground unless you have it shut off. For fuel flow, it's in the off position when it's pointing towards the steering column. The on position is pointing about like that. It's close to straight down. It's a little bit off straight down. This is on. You have to have that on for fuel flow. Over here is your ignition switch. This is the position in which the key can be taken out. So if the key is at this sort of horizontal position, or near horizontal, you can take the key out. In order to start it, you have to have the key vertical, but you also have to have this little red mark. We painted it red on purpose. Red has to be to the passenger side, or you do not have the coil actually turned on. So I'll turn it back off for a moment before we get serious about starting, because you shouldn't leave it in that coil position in case the points are closing, ruin the coil. This lower lever is spark advance. All the way off is right there. This is where you should start it. This is where you should run it for light running. If we were going to go like up a hill or something, we'd be advancing it more, but running it just to run it right there. This is your hand throttle. This is off. This is starting position. The hand throttle does work. You can bring it down here. You can theoretically run it with the hand throttle and not just the foot throttle. So starting position is like this. We look like that for starting. All the way down a little handle, larger handle, this position. So that's how you're gonna set it up to start the car. So starting again, be sure your fuel's turned on. Be sure your choke is out. No more than five to six seconds if you're using the choke before you shut it off. And be sure your key shows red to the passenger side and the key is gonna be like this. Otherwise the car won't start and of course you've obviously turned on your power. So now we're going to turn it into position so the red is on the correct side. We're going to turn our fuel on, 
We're in starting position. We step on our clutch, and you have to step hard on this switch. And if it doesn't turn over, step it again. There you go. So you see she's running. Advance your spark. You see how it smooths out a bunch? That's how you want to do it. So now it's set up to theoretically drive. If you need more power, you advance more spark. And as I said, your foot throttles down here. So now you know how that operates. Next thing you have to do is just put it in first and go. This particular shift is not going to work the way most shifts do. First is there. First is on the passenger side. This is third gear if you were on the driver's side. Be third gear. So this is first. This is second. First. Third is over here. Okay? So don't shift it the wrong way. First is here. Remember, first passenger side. Okay? That's that.